Alright guys, this is going to be another tutorial. I'm going to be showing how I made this grid effect in my last edit. And some of you on Discord have been telling me to follow a script. But, um, I'm not going to do that. So, let's just get started. So, you want to start off with your clip, obviously. Okay, now you want to pre-comp it a few times. So, Control shift c Maybe do it like four times. I also want to say thank you guys for all the subs and support. I've been growing a lot lately, so I just wanted to say thank you. So once you've pre-comped it, Control alt y make sure you know your shortcuts. Camera lens blur. I did just record this with my mic on mute again, so I'm going to try and go through this a little faster. Okay, let me change. Okay, that's fine. Maybe something like this. A little blur. Okay, hide this. Now add some uni heat wave. Set the heat intensity to zero. Maybe the speed to like seven and bump this up. You wanna add some gradient wave, make sure control Y, make a solid, put the solid below. Okay, because if you have Let's say another clip, right? And you don't put a solid, it's gonna like overlap. So make sure you put a solid. Now you wanna increase the transition completion a little bit and increase the softness. Okay, you can already kind of see it. What you can do is you can kind of keyframe it. So maybe start off dark. And it gets a bit lighter towards the end. Then maybe it becomes a little more dark. Okay, and I'll just spread these out a little more. That's fine. Okay. Now you also want to add some maybe hot spots. Keep it like this maybe, you can also keyframe the hotspots. So you want to go inside this pre-comp. Okay, promise we'll get to the grid bit soon. I'm just showing you how I built this scene. And you want to start off with some film grain. You can, I left it on the default settings. After that, I'm going to add some basic CC. So I really wanted to make like this dark mood light in make the orange pop a little so just add the just add anyone I don't know I'm just kind of speed running this okay that's fine to me now you want to add some uni fractal background I'm pretty sure these are the default settings but if they're not you can copy these okay and add a tint to it so it's black and white so you want to take, uh, turn this to billowed. Okay, right click, blending mode, subtract. Now you can already kind of see what it's doing. It's adding this like gradient effect. And you want to turn down the opacity to like around 20. So it's not, it's not too dark. Once you've added that, you want to add some, well this is optional, but I'm going to add some post rise time. Set this to 7. Now you want to add some a little bit of camera shake make this 100 set this to like 2 and maybe put the stock 8 okay that's fine and finally some mood lighting decrease the speed maybe the intensity a little okay now make an adjustment layer and pre-comp this Call this grid. Okay, recomp this again. Now inside of this, add grid. And you kind of just only really want to mess with the first point. Just mess around till you get something that looks fine to you. Okay, that looks fine. 
now I'm gonna leave a link in the description on how to make the numbers go up like in my video right but I'm just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna have I'm gonna leave the numbers but I will leave a tutorial okay now just position these in the corner almost like a calendar you don't have to add the numbers as well so control D P on your keyboard and drag it control P I mean control D P drag it control D P drag it okay and I'll select all these so click on the bottom layer hold shift control D drag this to the top and now just repeat drag this down Control D, drag it on top. P, drag it down. Okay, now that looks fine. Okay, now you want to add some turbulent displays. Now these, this is like the main option. You want to mess around with these, but I'm just gonna make something rough. I'm not sure if it'll look good, but I'll. Do something like this. I keyframe these three. Maybe something like this. Okay, increase the numbers a bit. Increase it some more. Okay, that's fine. F9. Now just make like a graph like this. Okay, that's fine. Now, what you want to do is, well, <laughs> not what you want to do, but this is for my specific scene because I don't want it to touch the characters, right? So. make like a mask like this M invert it feather it a little okay now add some bokeh let me set this to like 11 turn on the opacity to like 70 60 now if we go back this is basically the scene done Okay, you can tweak with the settings a bit more. As you can see, it might be a little too dark for you. Just you gotta mess around with the turbulent settings for the grid. And yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna mess around with the duplication effect I made on this. If I might make a touch on that in the future. And just before I end this tutorial, I thought I should mention shout out to Z Queen. Okay, she's a really good GFX artist. She made my last thumbnail for free without even me asking. So I really appreciate it. So join the server, show us some love, and thank you.